Hi, Dominic, coming at you from Anchor Life and Fitness. And today we're gonna go over a myofascial release for the hamstrings. So a lot of us with tight hamstrings, we try to address this through the foam roller and roll our leg on the foam roller and it doesn't work very well. So we're gonna use the tennis ball today and all you need for this uh, release is a chair and a tennis ball. So I'll show you that now. What you want to do is sit down in the chair, nice and tall. You want a, a good, uh, firm kitchen chair, uh, nothing with a soft cushion bottom, uh, because the ball is going to squish into that cushion. So you want something that has kind of a hard surface here, nice straight back chair. You're going to take the ball and place it right in the center of your hamstring or so, and just rest your leg on the ball, let the weight of the leg kind of rest on the ball. And we're going to start by bringing the knee out and in, going side to side. Okay. As we do this, what we're doing is we're, we're doing a little bit of cross fiber friction and we're getting the tissue to kind of separate layers from one another. So just in and out, you can do this for about 30 seconds or so. While you're doing this, it's important to breathe. So make sure you're breathing in through your nose and out. And um, you really have that, that calm breath. This is really important to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the calm me down, right? So we wanna do that for about 30 seconds or so. And then you can reposition this ball, either bringing it closer towards the, the hip um, or further away depending on where you're feeling it. And so I'm gonna place it right back where it was, cause that's where I have that spot there. And we just wanna sit here for about a minute or so. Once you feel like that releases or relaxes a little bit, we're gonna do what's called a pin and stretch. So you're gonna keep the ball where it is, and then you're gonna straighten your leg as much as you can, and then let the heel come back and just straighten and bend the knee and as you do this you don't want to put so much pressure down onto the ball as much as trying to straighten the leg you're going to feel this tissue lengthen while it's being pinned by the ball do this about 10 times or so and then you're going to end with the leg straightening and you're going to keep this straight for about 10 seconds then you can release the foot to the floor and then that side is done and you can switch to the other side and do the same thing. So I'm going to bring it right to the center of my hamstring. Okay, and then I'm going to start by rocking the knee in and out, doing that cross fiber friction. Reposition the ball if needed. And then you're just going to hang out here. So we want to hang out here for about 30 seconds to a minute and then you can start your pin and stretch by straightening that leg and bending the knee. Now because the ball's there, it's not allowing me to straighten my leg as much as I can normally because it's pinning that muscle and that's fine. We just want to try to straighten that leg focusing on engaging the top muscle and not the hamstrings and not putting too much pressure down onto the ball. Once you do that about 10 times or so, you're going to end on straightening the leg. Hold that for about 10 seconds. And then you can release the foot to the floor. And so that's your myofascial stretch and release for your hamstrings. I hope that helps. Have a great one.